Thanks for coming. Uh, well, we're super excited, obviously, at SpaceX to uh, announce uh, the, the, some of the details around the, the Falcon Heavy rocket, which is our, uh, our, our large rocket development, really large rocket development. Um, and uh, uh, it, this is something we, we've alluded to in the past, uh, but uh, 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 I've only just recently um, completed the, the design. So just imagine the complications of actually bringing humans to Mars. Well, one South African-born billionaire is looking to do just that and more as early as 2025. Here's ABC's David Wright. Pretty much from scratch. Here on Earth, there are real people already planning the logical next step. I think we'll be able to send the, probably the first people to Mars in roughly 12 to 15 years. That's my estimate. Meet Elon Musk, a high-tech executive who recently entered the space race. Lift off the Falcon 9. Accomplishing a feat so difficult, only the United States and the Soviet Union and China have ever done before. That is, developing a spacecraft capable of taking a man into orbit and returning him safely to Earth. Elon Musk did it with a rocket designed himself. What was inside? Well, our, our biggest payload, actually. Well, first of all, I, I just want to thank Elon for coming. Uh, hungry. Absolutely. He didn't even have dinner, and he didn't even feed oh, you no, properly. Sorry, sorry to be a bit late. Uh, oh, no. I just came from the Tesla factory from the Fremont. Yeah. Is it was something wrong? There's, there's always something wrong. Did you have to, uh, like... At any given point, there's always something wrong. Yes. Because um, there's just too many things going on. Yeah. So, um, I mean, one of the trickiest things about a car is... You know, these days... It's probably 80, 85 hours a week. For a while, it was over 100 hours a week, and that's just, it's just too, that's a very high amount of pain. Um, so it's, uh, you know, the, the, the difficulty in pain of, of work hours really increases exponentially. It's not linear. Is the future of the auto industry autonomous? Are these things really going to be a reality? Autonomous cars will definitely be a reality. Tesla car next year will probably be 90% capable of autopilot. Like, so 90% of your miles can be on auto. You know, for sure, highway uh, travel. How is that going to happen? Uh, with a combination of various sensors, um, you, know, you combine um, cameras with image recognition, with radar, and long range ultrasonics, that'll do it. Other car companies will follow. But you guys are going to be the leader? Of course. I mean, Tesla's a Silicon Valley company. I mean, if we're not the leader, then it would be a shame on us. I created uh, OpenAI, uh, which is uh, an AI, uh, it's a nonprofit actually. Uh, so OpenAI has a very high sense of urgency. And the talent, I think that the people that have joined are, are really, really amazing. Um, um, and, um, and the intent with OpenAI is to democratize AI power. Um, there's a quote that I love from uh, Ford Acton. He was the guy that came up with power corrupts and absolute power corrupts, absolutely. Um, which is that uh, freedom consists of the distribution of power and desperate high expectations. Um, I try to actually tamp down those expectations as you know, to be possible. In fact, I've on a record several times as saying that the stock price is higher than we have any right to reserve. Uh, and that's for sure true based on, you know, where we are today and have been in the past. So, the stock price obviously ref reflects a lot of optimism about where Tesla will be in the future. Uh, and, now, the, the thing that makes that, um, you know, quite a difficult emotional hardship for me uh, is, is that, you know, those expectations sometimes get out of, out of control. You know, like, I hate disappointing people, um, and so I'm like trying real hard to meet those expectations, but that's pretty tall order, um, and uh, a lot of times it's really not, really not fun, I have to say. A whole lot less fun than it may seem. You know, where do you think this goes ultimately as these games continue to improve, graphics get better, but then the simulation gets better? Do we reach this sort of, you know? 
particular area, this point where sort of, you know, the game and the world is the, the same thing, the simulation is. Imagine, we imagine if we were to reach such a situation, that would be crazy. <laughs> <laughs> If you assume any rate of improvement of video games at all, um, then one or two things are going to happen. Civilization will end, or games will be so realistic you can't tell the difference between them and re reality. And I've heard a lot about this game, uh, Cyberpunk. I, 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 I like the theme. It's like, awesome. Yeah. 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 Um, and we're actually, that, that, that uh, weirdly was what we decided to have our, our uh, pickup truck as a, kind of like a cyberpunk themed uh, pickup truck that, that really? we'll be unveiling hopefully end of the summer. So it, it definitely does, it doesn't look like a normal car. It looks like it should not be on the roads. Could you try to break this glass, please? Yeah. Sure? Yeah. Oh my fucking god. Well, Maybe that was a little too hard. <laughs> Should we try them? <laughs> Start? Yeah. It didn't go through. Let's so that's a, that a plus side. Let's try the right. Okay. Try that one, really? Yeah. Okay. Sure. Oh, <laughs> man. It didn't go through. <laughs> so far, the only company to really make money off AI is NVIDIA with the chips. Um, do you have a sense yet of where you think the big applications will be from AI? Is it going to be an enabling self-driving? Is it going to be enabling robots? Is it transforming industries? I mean, it's still, I think, early in terms of where the big business impact is going to be. Do you have a sense yet? I mean, I think I think the the, the 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 spending on AI probably runs ahead of, I mean, does run ahead of the revenue right now. That's, there's no question about that. Um, but the rate of improvement of AI is faster than any technology I've ever seen by far. And 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 it, it's, I, I mean, like the, 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 for example, the Turing test used to be a thing. Now. You know, your basic uh, open source random LLM you know, writing on a friggin' Raspberry Pi probably could, uh, you know, be the Turing test. Um, so there's, I, I, I think actually, like, like the, the, the good future of AI is one of immense prosperity where there is an age of abundance, no shortage of goods and services. Everyone can have whatever they want, unless, except for things we artificially define to be scarce, like some special artwork. Um, but, but anything that is of manufactured good or provided service uh, will, I think, with the advent of AI plus robotics, that the cost of goods and services will be, will trend to zero.